Which region is better, North America or Europe? This question has been inciting fanboy debate in the esports community for ages, and when it comes to Fortnite, things are no different. Recently, fans clashed on social media because of this picture, which basically says that throughout the last five months of non-region locked tournaments, NA has only qualified on EU three times, while EU's done it on NA a whopping 62 times. Now, this definitely paints a sad picture for NA, but what gives? Are European players really that much more advanced than NA, or is there perhaps something else going on that explains it? Well, let's take a look. But before we start, comment down below what region you think is best, and if you're still here to quickly improve at Fortnite, we guarantee our coaches can help. Also, we are happy to announce that we are doing a huge Black Friday sale just for you guys. When you sign up for our membership, get a massive 35% off, and this also applies for all services we offer. We highly recommend taking advantage of this while it lasts. Use promo code Black Friday to get started. Also, we just launched our brand new gaming channel where we cover everything esports related, so check that out. Also, we have just released our brand new Clicks Mastery course where Clicks shows you how he went from grinder to pro and teaches you all the strategies he used to get there. So check out ProGuides.com today to get full access. Now let's get into the discussion. So, fair warning, this won't be that scientific or anything, but at a first glance, the most significant difference between these two regions has to be the size of their player base. To give you an idea, check out the sign-up rates for week one of last season's biggest tournament, the FNCS. Around 77,000 European players signed up, while if you added up NA East and West, North America only had about 49,000. So based on this and some older data as well, we can say that Europe has about one and a half times the player base NA does. All right, so Europe has a higher population, but how exactly does that make them the better region? Well, simply put, a higher population equals more potential for better players. There are other things that can shape player skill too, which we'll get into in a bit, but for the most part, this population theory plays a massive role. We can see a bit more evidence to support that theory when it comes to open qualifier events. Specifically, players on EU tend to require more points to qualify than they would on NA. Of course, NA is divided into two regions while Europe isn't, so that does muddy the waters a bit. But for instance, to qualify for the October DreamHack semis, you needed 378 points on EU, 360 on NA East, and 327 on West. So the smaller the region, the easier it becomes to qualify. And that's just one example, but it holds true for other events too. However, as we hone in on the upper Achilleon of players, like your top 50 pros, I gotta ask, do you guys really notice much of a difference in how they play? Sure, there are subtle playstyle characteristics, but overall, skill level wise, are they really that far apart? I personally don't think so. So overall, the population difference is probably the most meaningful argument you can make as to why Europe has better players, and I tend to agree. But as you go deeper and look at the top 50 or 100 players, it's hard to make the argument for one region or the other. But moving on, the next big topic of contention that gets brought up when discussing these two regions has to be how they practice, and more specifically, how it's shaped their playstyle and skill level to this date. Now, pretty much since the beginning of competitive Fortnite, North America has always had a pro Discord server where all the top players practice and scrims with each other for the sole purpose of trying to improve and prepare for the finals of big events like the World Cup or FNCS for instance. Whether it's called the Alpha Court or Prac Court or whatever, NA just happens to value specialized practice that you just can't get playing in arena or other public lobbies. Europe, on the other hand, has never really had pro discords last very long. Every time they try, it apparently just devolves to the point where players just W key each other, grief games, and then pros just stop caring. Apparently, I guess pro players in Europe just don't care about organized endgame practice. They prefer to just push, 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 and keep improving their fighting skills, which does lead to some people believing that EU just sucks at end games. Whether or not that's true, well, I personally don't think it is. The evidence based on how they play just isn't there. And they might have a small lead, maybe, but that's pretty much the most notable difference between how Europe and NA practice. NA plays for end games and EU takes more fights. Which is the better play style though? I mean, you could argue that NA style of practice is superior, 
After all, when you get to the grand finals of a tournament, you're not going to be doing much fighting. No, you're more likely going to make it to the end game with 70 players still alive, and you're going to have to know your rotations, layer management, height control, and so on. So in that regard, yes, NA does get the most practice, and we think it helps them stand out when it comes to grand finals. However, Europe might be onto something with their pursuit of fighting practice. I mean, think about what qualifying for large events has come to in the first place. Even if you make it to the semis of an event with the top 1,000 players, you have to know how to fight because if you don't get kills, you won't qualify for the grand finals. And if you play passive, you'll get pushed and have to defend yourself anyway. So fighting in competitive Fortnite appears to be a more crucial skill set to have than knowing how to rotate in end games. at least based on how like 90% of tournaments hold their formats. And even with the grand finals of events, we're starting to see fighting become more and more common. This passive playstyle that NA pioneered just seems to slowly die off. For example, if you look at the winners of Season 4's FNCS and NA, Reverse 2K's team was not afraid to take fights throughout the event and it paid off for them. They ended up with the most eliminations, won zero games, and still took home the first place prize. So if you ask me, NA definitely gets great endgame practice, but the way most tournaments are formatted, players across the pond are definitely doing something that NA might need to take a page from. Finally though, we gotta talk about the tournament results. Now when it comes to events, in-person tournaments are king, but 2020 sucked and it made it so we haven't seen any recent LAN events. Still looking at the past, there are a few we can kind of analyze. ESL Katowice, the World Cup, and DreamHack Anaheim. ESL was pretty international with Europeans, American players, and even some from Asia. And for both solos and duos, North Americans won. But still, the overall results were pretty evenly mixed. I don't think we can conclude anything from this one. Next, the World Cup featured the best from all around the globe, and in solos, NA definitely held better average positions on the leaderboard, but for duos, it was again another even mix. Overall, NA definitely did better at the World Cup. And finally, for DreamHack Anaheim, the most recent offline event, Mr. Savage represented Europe and took home first, but beyond that, the results weren't in one region's favor or the other. We can't really draw any reasonable conclusions here. So in summary, looking at the large, international offline events we've had in the past, we just haven't had enough events to notice a pattern, which is why we have to look at online events. Now, if we have to take another look at that picture we saw at the start, it blatantly shows that EU kind of rolls over NA when it comes to online qualifiers, but there's no way Europe is just that much better right? Because again, when we look at how these pros actually play, like comparing Booga to Mongrel or Clicks to Benji Fish, they're not that far off from each other. Europe perhaps has more talented fighters, but amongst the very top players like top 20 in each region, for instance, their mechanics, game sense, and all that are pretty indistinguishable. So it makes me think that there's definitely something else going on in this pick. Which brings me to the first theory. EU qualifies more because of time zones. Basically, NA tends to have to get up earlier in the day to play EU qualifiers, whereas EU plays their qualifiers and then a few hours later into the night, they play on NA. It depends on the tourney though, since not every schedule is the same. But take a look at Reverse 2K staying up until 8am to play EU DreamHack. He literally dozed off on stream because it's too early for him. And let's be real, most pro gamers don't have a quote unquote normal sleeping schedule. They get up later in the day and stay up late at night. So in that regard, I do think Europe has a slight inherent advantage when it comes to competing on NA. Still, plenty of NA pros compete on EU every chance they get. So it's not like they're not trying or anything. Maybe Europe is just that much better. But another theory is ping, as there is some evidence that EU tends to ping better to NA than NA does to EU. Is this true? Well, maybe just slightly, like you usually see Benji get around 70 ping to NA, but Buga will usually go into the 80s and 90s. But is that the difference maker here? Personally, I don't feel like it holds water, but we have to bring up NA West again. Because of course, they get like 150 ping on European servers, so they almost have zero chance of placing anything significant there. And West does make up a considerable fraction of the total NA population, about 30%, with a ton of incredible players like Epic Whale, Arkram, and Reet. And the fact that some of NA's best can't even reasonably compete on EU definitely plays a part in that 62 quals versus 3 we showed in that picture. So. Can we call either NA or EU the superior region? Well, it almost seems as if there's almost too much to consider when comparing the two. 
Like sure, we can point to the population differences and how the EU is dominating the online circuit, but online tournaments have their own problems and we just haven't had enough recent offline events to come up with a definitive answer. Anyways, what do you guys think? I know it's a contentious topic, but let us know in the comments which region you think wins. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it, give it a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.